In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I accidentally ranked a business on Google Maps in less than two months and how you can as well. Let me give you guys some context. So this was actually my first project inside the SEO space. So I'd been learning about it for a few months and I was really interested in going out and actually applying those skills. So I ended up deciding on the dentist space within the actual area that I was living in in Vancouver at the time in Canada. And my main goal was to rank this fake dentist website within six months. So this is the actual website that I created. As you guys can see, it's under a Weebly uh, website builder. I have the absolute most basic plan because this was just basically a test for me. I wasn't taking it too seriously. So I built a really basic website. I did this really bad looking video. I filled it with a bunch of keywords, but I really wasn't expecting much. So after a few months, I wasn't really seeing any results. I was bouncing between the third and fourth page. So this was a brand new website when I realized that I should probably add a Google My Business profile because that would probably help this website rank better, right? At the time, I didn't realize the power of Google My Business and how important it is for local SEO. I created that Google My Business profile and I kind of forgot about it. So I kept optimizing the website. And after two months, I started getting calls for people looking for a dentist and looking for dental services. So I thought that finally my website was ranking. But when I went to check the analytics on my website, it was actually still on the third page. I wasn't really getting any traffic. That's when I realized that it was actually my Google My Business profile and it had been doing super well. It was actually ranked first within the local map pack. So it was getting a bunch of calls and I really didn't know what to do with it. I eventually decided to forward all those calls to a real dentist to make sure that everybody that needed help was getting the help they deserved. And that was the end of that. I still actually own this Google My Business so we can actually check it out. If we look up Kitsilano Dentist, we can see that both of these are ads and this right here is my fake listing. So all of these images are fake and obviously the reviews are fake as well. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you guys exactly through how I ranked this specific business in first place. And I'm also gonna cover some advanced tips at the end for those of you that are in a more competitive space and for those of you that wanna take your local SEO game to the next level. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take a look at the actual Google My Business listing, right? So the most important information goes in the info section. So the first thing we need to do is add our business name, right? If we can add a keyword, it is helpful. If we can't, that's all right. So a second thing is adding specific categories that apply to us as a business. We want to add as many categories as possible, as long as these categories are still relevant to our business. We want to make sure that we have the exact address and more on that later. Our service areas, we want to add our time when we're open, when we're closed, uh, special hours, our phone number as well. We need to make sure this is the correct phone number, our website, that's super important as well. If there's a specific section on our website where we take appointments, this is where we would add that URL if we have any products and services. So this is something that I think not enough people look into. Uh, we do wanna add all the specific services that we offer and make sure that we fill up all of that text, right? So we get 300 characters. I clearly haven't, but you definitely should right? So a lot of people don't do this and ignore this, but it's an easy way to add relevance to our Google business profile, right? So if we go back to info and keep scrolling down, different attributes of the business, so if it's women owned or if it's accessible for people in a wheelchair, all these different types of things, we want to make sure that we add. And then finally, our description. So we do want to optimize our description, add as much information there as possible, fill it up with all the services you offer, fill it up with keywords. There are no penalties here for optimizing it. Just make sure that it's legible because there will be people that that are gonna be reading this. Another thing is that we do wanna add photos. So if we actually take a look at the actual uh, Google My Business listing, the main things that stick out obviously is the name, the reviews, but then it's the images. So the images really stick out. We wanna make sure that we have uh, high quality images from the interior of our business, from the exterior of our business, of our team, of people working, as many images as possible that convince those users that you're a great business to work with, right? So we do wanna make sure that we fill up all the different sections inside the Google business profile manager, right? So once I done that, I then put all my effort into finding local citations. So local citations are basically the equivalent of backlinks for local SEO. And so we need to go out and we need to add our business to as many business directories as possible, right? But we need to be really careful here. What matters in these business directories is our NAP, right? Our name, our address, and our phone number. We need to make sure that we have the exact same data throughout all these different business directories. So consistency is the name of the game here. Consistency generates trust 
and trust leads Google to push us higher in the rankings. So how do we go out and we find these citations? So all we need to do is have a quick search. So I'll just type in popular local citations and Bright Local will give us a bunch of different citations that we can go out and we can target. Another tip that I'd recommend doing is going out and finding local citations for the specific niche that you're in. So for example, if I'm a dentist, I wanna go out and find as many dentist citations as possible. So again, if I just type in dentist local citations and Bright Local, here they are again, giving us a great resource. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. So now we have all these different resources which we can go out, add our business, and that's gonna help Google trust our Google profile a lot more. But guys, the reality is that I think I got really lucky with the specific niche, and the specific keyword that I was targeting. There really isn't a lot of competition. So if I were to go out and do local SEO for another business in a way more competitive niche, these are some of the things that I would focus on. The first thing that I would do is I would go out and I would take advantage of this website section inside your Google My Business profile. So this is a website that's automatically generated by Google that they offer to you for free. And this basically just collects all the data that you've added to your Google My Business profile and it presents it in a nice looking website. But now you're gonna ask me, but hey, Jamal, why are we creating another website when I already have a main website? The main thing here is that we need to consider them as two separate entities. So our main website is where most of our business is gonna come through if they need to book appointments, if they need to contact us, but we can use this website that's been automatically generated by Google to add relevance to our Google profile. Let me show you what I mean. So there's a specific space here where we can go out and we can add a bunch of text. So I can say Kitsilano Dentist 2022. In the next year, we're going to be offering teeth whitening services. Right, I can save that and now down here we can see that I've added a bit of text. This is adding a lot of relevance to my website. So we can fill that up with as much text as possible, as many links as possible. I recommend adding a bunch of links back to our main site, to our socials and to anything that's relevant for our website. So this is a really easy way of getting a bit of trust over to our website and to our socials. So we wanna show Google that we're active. And on top of that, another thing that we can do with this website is we can show our most recent posts. So what are posts? So if we go to this section right here in the posts. This is a really easy way to interact and engage with our customers. So on top of that, it helps us add relevance to our Google My Business profile and it shows Google that we're active, right? So that's a super important signal that we need to send to them. So we might wanna create posts about specific blog posts that we're doing, maybe about new services, if we're closed for a specific day. Another thing we can talk about is frequently asked questions and the list goes on and on and on. So this should be your main touch point when you're thinking of updating your website, also go and update your Google My Business by adding new posts. So Google really values that activity. Most of your competitors will not be doing this. So it's super crucial that you guys do this. And a final thing that I wanna to touch upon is our website. We cannot forget about our website. So let me show you guys exactly what I mean. So I've gone out and I've added teeth whitening services on Google. Again, I'm targeting Vancouver and look at what we see down here. So we see that Google is showing us directly on the map pack that their website mentions teeth whitening treatment. So Google is going out, they're pulling information from the website that's connected with this Google My Business listing and they're saying, hey, this website is talking about this specific service, they could be relevant for this keyword, right? So this is why our website is extremely important. We need to make sure that it's structured and that it's up to date. So if we take a look at the website that I've created, there's a lot of things that I change and that I'd improve on, right? The first thing is that there aren't too many pages. I don't have a specific page for each service that I'm offering, that'd be the first thing that I do if I was in a way more competitive space, right? So maybe I'd create a page for teeth whitening in Vancouver, dental cleaning in Vancouver, right? All these things I'd want to go out and create separate pages for and add them to my nav bar, right? So that'd be one of the first things that I would do. And finally, we also need to think about our blog. So our blog is the infamous superpower of all websites and we can't forget about it. So our blog here is gonna help us add relevance to a website in the local SEO space. We need to be posting consistent, high quality content to our blog. We cannot forget about that. And the great thing is that once we've created content for our blog, we can then go out, we can create a post on our Google business profile, and that's gonna help adding that extra level of relevance. We can even link back to our specific blog post and show Google that extra level of signals that's only gonna help us in the long term. I hope you guys learned from this. I'll see you guys in the next one.